give people a chance to come in and I'm going to pull it up on here. Everybody that's here. We got eight people in here so far. We just came on so people can get notifications. We do realize that on Saturday that there is not a lot of people available at noon. So hopefully everything will work out. Uh, if you can't hear me, let me know. I bought new mics and then there was no receiver with the mics. So I, I don't have access to mics today. Got Carissa Renninger here saying hi, I'm Miss T and Kevin, and then Judy Heber saying hi from Georgia. So welcome, welcome, ladies. Diane McCoy saying hello, everyone, on this Saturday afternoon. Uh, Carissa says, I can barely hear you laughing out loud. <laughs> See if you can cut your device up. I don't know what else to do. If I pull you forward, I can't, I can't tilt that down anymore, and then... You can't see. When I went home and watched the birthday chat, it sounded like it was loud without a mic. So, I don't know what to do. We're going to not be in the picture. See, I can hear on our devices. And when I'm scooting you up, you're now missing stuff. But, you know, you can only do so much. <laughs> um, I tried to get mics, open up the mics, and there weren't, wasn't a receiver in there. I bought new mics. Uh, ben Dixon saying hello from D.C. Patricia Priest saying hello to everyone. So welcome. we got 22 people now. Hello. All right, so we're working on the Wensleydale quilt. That's, te that's Kevin's test block he made a while back. And I think I am going to go ahead and use African prints, but I'm going to use solid corners on, on some blocks. And we have our templates here. We have our book. <laughs> we have our book. And we have foundation papers as well. Well, I have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kevin doesn't like to paper pee. Not a fan. Um, Donnell Stevens, uh, as Quip Mama 6438. Hi, Mrs. T. Welcome to the chat. Quip Mama, Quip Mama. Unbroken22 is here saying hello. Welcome. Brenda Perkins saying hi, everyone. Mama says hi, Kevin. And hi, Kevin. Hope everyone is doing wonderful. Hey. So, we're working on the Wensleydale quilt from the book Quilt Recipes by Jen Kingwell. And we're working on starting on page five, I think, just to make sure. Quilt starts on page five, Winsleydale, and it's one of those quilts. There's 12 quilts in this book. Six of them have templates, and I am working with one that has templates, but it also has foundation paper. So I'm going to start with the one that has a foundation paper only because it's on top. I uh, cut some pieces out and then put them on. I, I cut one out foundation piece and I cut one out template base. And I, when I'm doing foundation piecing, I still use my templates. I just laid my template down and then I just rough cut around the template at, um, at least a quarter of an inch. Half of an inch is good. So I'm wasting fabric. I got like just blobs. Of fabric like that so just rough cut and then that way 
they're big enough so I can scoot them over a little bit this way or that way if I need to when I'm putting them on my foundation papers. Um, I'm, I also have one block that I cut out with templates as well, just to go through that experience. I did block up there with templates. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Oh, in the book, what I did was I marked the height of my templates. So if I'm cutting from a strip, I knew what size strip I would have to cut in order to cut that template out. So I did that instead of just cutting a shape or two out of a piece. So I got all those measurements in my book. So I've written in my book and it's in ink, so it's in stone. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, so when I'm doing these blocks, I don't have to worry about um, what size strip do I need? Or is the fabric going to be big enough? I can just use a ruler and know whether or not I can use that piece of fabric because I'm using scraps, I'm using fat quarters, I'm using a combination of everything. Um, I'm today going to be working on making two complete blocks because I want you all to see the completed blocks from start to finish, hopefully. <laughs> And then Kevin's doing differently, which I might follow him later, is that he's doing all of his first round. It's kind of like a log cabin where you start with a center and then you put four pieces around. And so Kevin's doing all of his first round for however many blocks he's got cut. Because it takes a minute. <laughs> I'm going to tell be honest. Working with templates, especially very small templates, it's a lot of work. And most of it is because you don't even have room to hold. So one of the things that I'm using, especially uh, for my small templates, is that I'm using a smaller rotating mat for those small templates. And then when I can't, the templates, there's about three, maybe four, three, maybe two, maybe three templates that won't fit on this. And then I go to my, I have a round rotating mat, but it's in my... It's packed up, so I brought the rotating mat of OPA. So any rotating mat will be helpful when you're cutting templates because you don't want to be picking it up and then having to place the template back again. In the instructions, she tells you that piece C and F, F, you have to know where the top of that template is. It looks like it's a a 60 degree triangle but it's not it looks like an equilateral triangle but it's not and so if you lose that corner your piece won't fit so you do need to mark that piece C and E uh, template C and E you need to mark what's the top and that's on these that I rotary cut I just put a pin in it I, I don't know if you all can see the pin sticking out here but I just put a pin in mine so I would know that that was the top when I go to lay it down. Um, Kevin, you want to say anything? I think you've covered it. Other than I'll say, Good day, mates. I'm Kevin the Quilter. From Australia. This is Jen King while she's playing. I understand. Do you get it? No. But you, do you understand that no. accent? No? You don't get it? That's okay. Y'all understood it, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. I, I didn't know I was going to be a mate. <laughs> um, well, you are. <laughs> uh, Nano Nato says, hey, hi, T, watching from South Africa. I'm sure I butchered your name. Sorry about that. May South I? Africa, wow. They do. Cool. N-A-I-D-O-O. -O. Nano. Uh, Joanne Lucas is here. Hello, everyone. Miss T and Kevin. Hey, Emily yep. Sahoots. Welcome back, Emily. We're in the daytime. Hey. <laughs> she says, hi, T and Kevin. Happy to see you early in my time zone instead of 1 a.m. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Kathleen Champ says, howdy. Happy. Miss T and Kevin. <laughs> Happy Stitchy Saturday to all. Oh, cool. Vivian, oh, Vivian Calvi, hi, T and Kevin, and everyone. Maddie. Hey, Miss Vivian. Hey, T and Kevin, I made it. 
Mm -hmm. That's Maddie Barnum. Hey, Maddie. Mary Wilson. Hello, love this pattern. I did too until I made the first one. <laughs> <laughs> um, Betsy Layton saying, yes, Kevin. Yes, so she knows. She heard, she heard your... <laughs> She hired you, Jakara. My friend Betsy will. Jakara says, hi, T and Kevin from Brazil, Rio de, J de Janeiro. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy Klein, hello from Illinois. And Mary Wilson says, good ideas, yes. And the last thing I forgot to tell you, because it's sitting right here, is on the back of those templates, I put in some true grips. Anything that's like a nonstick that you can put on the back of your template, I use, when I use my true grips, they have a circle in a circle. So you have a, they meant, they mean for you to use the big circle, but I use the small inner circle. I use, I cut up all the leftover pieces um, because it's cut out of a rectangle. And I use every little bit. Those, every little bits came in handy yeah. when you got a whole pack of templates. I just um, used all the scraps. I used one full circle on your big one mm -hmm. and cut it in half. And then all the other templates are just bits and pieces from um, leftover that they don't intend for you to use. But when I buy something, I buy the whole product, waste and all. So just go. like using your scraps, I use the scraps of my True Grips, and they work perfect on here. I just use some scissors and just cut them into smaller pieces. Because otherwise, you're just going to pull off and it's going to be this one big piece that you've taken all the other stuff out of. Mm -hmm. So I'm using it all. So get some true grips if you've got the templates. Wanna make sure we got everything. All right. So I'm going to start with the paper piece one because it's on top. I really wanted to start with the one that I had cut with the templates on my paper piecing. Kevin's going to be finished before I start. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm on the paper one piecing right. one, whenever I have lines, I'm just showing you this pattern so you can see that I have lines. And you can see that I've already pre-folded all of my lines. So when I'm going to put my fabric down, it just has a little slight memory. It's nothing critical. Um, I just know that I already know where my fabric needs to extend at least a quarter of an inch from that line. So I'd like to pre-do that. Expert. For those that have never paper pieced before. You're in for a rare treat. Your right side of your fabric is up on the back side of your line. So you never put fabric on the lines. And then I like to hold my first piece up to the light so I can see where it's gonna sit because I wanna put these little circles that I got on this fabric in the middle. So that's nice thing about having some paper that's thin. I can see right through it. I can see through typing paper though because I have the light right over my head at home. And then I'm just going to put some pins in here to hold it. One pin's good for right now because I'm going to be putting another pin. I'm just going straight down the middle where I know I'm not going to sew. And that's just going to hold that one piece on the paper. It's floppy right now. And then I'm going to go to the line between one and two. Fold that down. I want to make sure. Sometimes I'll fold it again just to make sure. And then I'm going to trim with my add a quarter ruler. Right here is an add a quarter ruler. It has a lip on it. And uh, when I put this up against the paper that I folded back, it'll stop at the one quarter. And then I can just go ahead and cut off any excess that I don't need in that seam. So only the line between one and two has been trimmed to one quarter inch. But now I can just take these pieces and put them on. They're, these are not fussy cut, so I don't have to worry about that. I just want to make sure I'm in the middle and that it's at that quarter inch. So I'm just lining it up, making sure I got a quarter inch exceeding on both sides. 
I got way more over there. And then I am going to put in a couple of pins. Where I'm not going to sew, but enough to hold it down. And I know you can't see details here, but I do have paper piecing videos on my YouTube channel if you need to see the descriptions. But now I've got that piece pinned, and it's pinned where I'm not going to sew on the line. So I'm going to start sewing a quarter inch. I don't think I've got an open Let's see. I'm going to start stitching a quarter inch before the line and stitch a quarter inch past the line. Clear open, so I hate clear sheets, plastic sheets. Mm -hmm. They're not heavy, yeah. like heavy sheets. Mm -hmm. So this one, I don't have a, um, a metal open tote, but so we'll make do with a plastic one. If you all can't hear us, please just turn your devices up, your volume up on your devices because I did buy a new I did buy a new mic, but it, uh, either the receiver fell out at home or it's not in the box. So I have to check that when I get back home found myself buying it so I could just leave it here. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no need in me leaving it here because I can't use what I got so far. Okay, we need need, need needles in center position now since um did you move? Did I move? I did not move. I'm talking about this needle. Oh. You want me to read some comments for you? And I'd like to sh shorten my stitch length to like 1.5 as well. And I'm going to stitch this first line. Mary Wilson says, good ideas. Janice Miller says, hello, Miss T, Kevin, and everyone. Janet McCarroll, hello, T and Kevin, sashing my strawberry blocks and watching. That sounds delicious, by the way. Strawberries are my favorite. Patsy Johnson, hello, T and Kevin from California, waiting for Hurricane Hillary. I, is that not bizarre? Have you seen the news about that? Hurricane mm -hmm. Hillary? Mm -hmm. It's like the first time in history that Southern California is under like a hurricane watch or something. Oh, wow. Uh, something to that effect. I, can, I, I can't remember, but yeah. Nikki B says, good afternoon, T, Kevin and all. J and F, me too, Patsy Johnson. So she must be in Southern California also. Brenda Foley, hey, I made it. Hello from Montana, <laughs> my vacation. Cool, cool. What's the show that's filmed in Montana? Yellowstone, right? Right? Yellowstone, isn't that? I don't know nothing about that. You don't know nothing about that? Well, looky there, my roomie. Hey, Miss T and Kevin, can't wait to see what kind of mischief you guys are going to get into today. <laughs> Me, I'm already good, but oh. I wore his shirt, and he wore his shirt. He's selfish today. How many times has this woman come on her channel wearing a tea quilt shirt? He's selfish. How many I'm times I'm advertising my business, but today How many times? I'm representing my friend. And I'm representing <laughs> my friend, too. And your friend, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not buying it. Yes. Yes. No, she made these shirts for me, and I love them, and I said I'm going to wear one today. Thank you, Miss T. <laughs> he just knew I was coming in T. Quilt show. He, I did. He, I'm going to wear my Kevin the Quilt shirt. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Not today. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia Marie Fields, sitting in the car watching you guys. I miss you. <laughs> we miss you too. 
<laughs> Nikki B says, I can hear you on my cell phone fine, but not on my TV. Well, we'll just have to make do today. Weird? Yeah. Uh, Joe Carmel says, hey, Rumi, what fabrics are you using? I took the shirt off my back, <laughs> and I'm using all these recycled shirtings for my, for my quilt. And I have a, an idea of how I kind of want it to go. I'm going to see how these blocks that I make today go and then go from there. So. Joe Cornell, I don't want no twelve out of you when you <laughs> when you make your first block. Just why spoil the surprise? <laughs> why spoil the surprise? Woo! Oh, Mary Wilson. For some odd reason, I like that block turned the longer up and down way. Well, you could do it either way. I mean, you know, the way that you you piece, piece it together in the end, mm -hmm. the block. And that would be interesting. Um, Brenda Foley. Yes, it was Yellowstone. Okay, that's what I thought. And <laughs> Joe Carmel. I love the t-shirts. <laughs> I do, I too. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Yes, she does. Don't let her fool you. I don't. Not at all. Not at all. I did finish my first center. <laughs> well, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. I, think it's, I don't know why it's so hard for me. I still could just pick two fabrics, but I feel like it's harder for me to do that with these type of prints. But Like you just randomly cut from the fabrics. Yes. Yeah. And whereas I need to match them up as I go, because yeah. I need um, I need contrast. Sure, absolutely. Color contrast, because these patterns are going to be wild. And if you all are curious, I am adding contrast, because I'm going to make 30 with the, the color centers of various colors, and then I'm going to make 30 with neutral centers, and then go out from there, and, and every other round will be, you know, the contrasting color, a lighter or dark. So um. right, Yellowstone. Okay, she was talking about this show. What happened what had happened was <laughs> <laughs> right, I said it. <laughs> if Boho Hearts is a problem, girl, <laughs> you might want to look at the other six that don't have you templates. You just wait. You just wait. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know, it, it's too fiddly for me. Like, there's just too much involved with it. Like, you gotta sew the seam, then you gotta cut it, and then, it, you know, uh, that, and I I'm just... I'm using my wood press to press, since my fabrics are stiffer anyway. It's coming in handy for this. And I like to try to get my strings out now, whereas when I pull the paper out, all of them will be sitting there. Don't want that. <laughs> Take that pin out. So now I've got this on the back side. And you don't see anything from the front. <laughs> so now I'm doing sections four and five next. It's gonna be just my first frame around that Kevin just showed you. Ta -da! So that's all Kevin's gonna do that. He's got at least 20 blocks cut. Yeah, and I just saw where I may have to cut, recut some because um, it's just so small I wasn't able to get a good cut on like three of them. Already? Already. Oh my. I know, right? Oh my. We don't want to do, do it more than 60. I know. <laughs> well, it was just a few that had a little... I wasn't sure about using these African print, but once I got one block done, I go, that's one. Yep. <laughs> and it's beautiful. I mean, her blocks are beautiful in those African prints. I got one. All right. Now 
I go to C. I go to C. <laughs> at the noise. I know. I know. <laughs> we got company. Yeah. Sort of, kind of. <laughs> if you all hear someone snoring, it's not us. It's my little girl, Sophia. She, she is not that. She's, she's down, down over here. She cow. is snoring. All right. So, we're going to get started with the Did I say Sophia? Yes, you did. That was That's my first little have. girl. Yes, it's Lily. It's Lily. Silly me. It's Lily. That's what happens when you get older. You start calling the roll. What's happened to you? <laughs> Not to everybody, just to Kevin. Oh, yeah. The quilters of just the world. Just Kevin, the quilters of the world. There's only one. You never know. <laughs> well, actually, some of <laughs> I'm not really me today. Now, I try to be respectful, but you were disrespectful. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, no. I was respectful. I offered Miss Tia a Vegemite sandwich, but she wanted chicken instead. Oh, what? You didn't <laughs> offer me anything. How many of y'all have tried Vegemite? I don't even know what it is. <laughs> it's an Australian specialty food. Oh, so that's why I don't know. <laughs> You've not been to Australia? No, I haven't. Australia, or however they say it, Austria. Aussie. Yeah, Aussie. And everybody go to see the kangaroos, and the kangaroos would be good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they will. Kangaroo boxing. I'd be like, not today. <laughs> Put Miss T in there. She's like, oh no, you don't. <laughs> no, no, no. He's such a cute animal. They are yeah. people friendly at all. <laughs> especially when they got any any animal go with a baby, but especially the kangaroo because they kick, so it mm -hmm. just looks more dramatic. Yeah. Beat you up. Yeah. All right. It's my birthday. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Your birthday is done and gone, girl. It's still Leo season. I do have a birthday coming up, though. I have a birthday coming when up. When is your here. birthday, Kevin? It's next month. Is it? It is. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's my birthday. Uh, <laughs> it's my birthday. Even though it's my birthday. It's her birthday. Okay, I'll sing it's your birthday every day. Okay. And next month. Next month. Every day in September. Next month. Okay. Okay. Every day. And I'm going to send you a recording too. Oh, so. my goodness. You've already done that. <laughs> well, Thank you. Uh, so what? That was for me. Thank you. I'm going to send it every day for you. And you better listen. <laughs> Because I might have a little extra something on the end. Oh, my. Telling you where your birthday gift is. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You just never know. All right. <laughs> you better listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay.
Let's see, uh, what had happened was I had to order more fabric for my boho. That's Joe Carmen. You're <laughs> yeah, right. You had to, well, right? Yes, All my, the stuff she don't gave away, but she had to order some my fabric. My room for that. needed more fabric. Valerie Bull says, Hi, everyone. I'm in a great mood. I just came home from a fabric store and got beautiful fabric and satin ribbon at great prices. Woo. What a good start to the weekend. Hey, hey. Yeah. T. Roberts is here saying, Hey, Miss T and Kevin. Hey, Tananya. Charlotte Villa. Hello, quilters. Betsy says, nope. I don't know what the nope is to. Mm. Joe Carmel says, is there anything like spam? Ah, uh, uh, I don't, I really don't know. Does anyone know? Mm-mm. I know it comes in a can. But you trying to feed it to me, though. Mm-hmm. Reminds me of the song from Super Tramp. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was, I would say it's a musical. Yep. It's a musical. It's definitely a musical. Definitely a musical. Um, T says, Miss T, are you paper piecing? Yes, I'm paper piecing one. And I talked about that when I first came on here where I have, um, I just folded my piece. I got to press it back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I got one that's cut from templates, but I still use my template so that I could fussy cut like um pieces so i just cut my pieces bigger with my plastic template so yes but i am so whenever i'm fussy cutting i don't put the edge down if i don't want to but on this i think i will because it's all got black pieces it doesn't have to be perfect we'll see what those circles fall <laughs> <laughs> um Sharon Lewis says, hi, T and Kevin. I'm out shopping, shopping, listening to the chat. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Sharon. Drop it like a top. All right. Jimmy Sorry. won't mold. Jimmy won't mold. Jimmy won't. Jimmy won't. Jimmy won't mold. <laughs> now, <laughs> <laughs> what musical mu- movie is that from? <laughs> you don't have anybody know what it is. They're going to guess. <laughs> They're going to get it. They're going to okay. get it after that one. So now, I am needing to have the big piece up here, so I want this one. And then I like to lay it down here and pull it back, make sure. So they gonna get it. You got faith in them? They're going to get it. Thank you, Miss Vivian Calvin. She get it. Did she get it? She said, dream girl. We're your <laughs> dream girls. We'll make you happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're your dream girls. Boys, we're always there. There's your song girl. for the day. All right. That's what was stuck in my head. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they just got up vacated. You have to excuse my dogs. A leaf blew outside. <laughs> Bark at the stupidest thing. And all three of them, like, neither yeah. one of them is just like, I'm going to chill. Yeah. Sit here and no. relax. Mm-mm. All three of them gone. Yep. And I mean, Abby just loses her marbles when she, I mean, she just, you can't stop her. Thank you, Charlotte. She says, thumbs up, ladies. 51 watching and only 32 thumbs up. Oh. Song with Vegemite sandwich was in Men at Work. Oh, yes. Oh, so she was going to something else. Yeah, that's right. Who said that? Betsy. Yeah. Brenda Foley says, thank you. Judy want to know what kind of dogs. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> I have two Boston Terriers and one Golden Doodle. Which is different for you. Yes. The Golden Doodle might as well be a poodle because that's all she acts like. She just acts like a poodle. And I mean, she loses her brains when she thinks someone's at the door or something's going on outside. You see, they back, so ain't nothing going on. Exactly. Nothing happened. That's, that happens all the time. Man, looking all disappointed. Yep. Because they think that they did something big and they just did something silly. Ooh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna get my attention. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna get my
Well, she didn't say that. She didn't say that. Um, Are you lying? Are you lying to these people? What are you talking about? You're sitting there saying... Well, we, daughters and granddaughters and I, are off on another adventure. Have a wonderful day, I'll buy. That was Brenda. Have fun. Have fun. All right, got my two pieces pinned now, ready to sew. So, so, so. So, 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 you're fine. Have you heard the row your boat on Gracie? You need to you can row your boat on what? Gracie's corner. You know the happy birthday oh, for, no. for Jersey. Oh. They have a row your boat. Oh goodness! <laughs> they got two versions. Is that the next one? But I'm talking about the version with Felicia. Oh. You gonna share? You have to look at it because. Is it not good? It's it's excellent. Oh okay. Because Felicia is Felicia. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can say right now. Well, I'm going to have to look that up. They got two, though. If it don't come up there and say, saying that I'm Felicia, or... Or hi, Felicia, or something. <laughs> but if you don't hear Felicia before the music starts, then that ain't the one. That ain't the one, okay. Before they get into the roll song. They don't say bye, Felicia. I either. just love, I love the channel because they, they taking basic nursery rhymes and added other stuff to it. The Humpty Dumpty one is funny. Uh, they don't told him to stay off the wall. He keep getting back on the Humpty, stay off the wall. Stay off the wall. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> It's like, I love how they change stuff up. And then as they as the video goes on, Humpy getting all cracked up, okay? Uh -oh. <laughs> Start with a little crack on his head, and that crack keep getting bigger, and then he got a whole hole. <laughs> ah. <laughs> that's like, that's like Humpy didn't listen. No, Humpy wouldn't listen. <laughs> oh, my. It's like. <laughs> and Jersey likes all of them, doesn't she? Yeah, she likes, I, I think she just likes the beat. Most of them kind of have the same beat a little bit to me. Yeah. But, she and then she don't like the phonics one where they go, I, 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 Apple, and she'd be like, uh-uh. <laughs> mm -mm. We ain't interested in that mm. right now. She got to be older for that one. She don't like the phonics when they just going, ba, 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 ba. <laughs> she let it get through one time all the way to uh, why. Yeah. And she was like, she starts, she starts fussing when she don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. There's no. I'm messing around. I think I'm gonna try to do some of that. I have to well, do my two pieces. I mean. This this part here is going okay, and what I did is I went through my smallest scraps to cut these smallest pieces out, you know. Mm -hmm. So that kind of helped too. Hey, Humpty, stay <laughs> off the wall. Stay off the wall. Those do look like eyeballs in the middle, kind of. I put these like, are balls. Those are balls. Those are balls. It looks like an owl eye. Owl. It's balls. They're balls. Okay. <laughs> Okay. It's a fabric ball. I guess I call balls in super time. <laughs> <laughs> I am not finna play with you with that ball. <laughs> <laughs> Does she have his ball ball? Look at me. Look at me all sad. I like play with me with my ball. No. <laughs> Cooper, I don't want to touch that dirty thing. Oh. You been chewing on it? Oh, come on, Arnie T. Stay off the wall. <laughs> That's all I got for you. <laughs> okay, seven, eight, nine. So we're at 10, 11. But they told us to put the sides on first. Let me see if they really mean it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought in the book they told us to put the sides on. B, C, and then 
and it says F and E. See, they got the, so then when they numbered it, they numbered it the same. I'm gonna do my long size first. They're not fooling me. <laughs> hey, Humpty, stay out the wild. <laughs> I got a new earworm. Got another one. <laughs> got another one. Uh, Jeff is in here saying, hey, I only 36 thumbs up so far. So hit the thumbs up for us, guys, to get the video in circulation. Joe says she's at her mom's house. Going to take her to dialysis then go on fabric shopping. Oh, oh tell okay. mama hi. Um, come on guys, give T a thumbs up from Cynthia, thank you. Uh, let me go back. Uh, Nikki says, I'm making my sister's Mickey Mouse lap quilt, so that's cool. Oh, cool. I had fun making the Mickey quilt. Yeah, you got that cranked uh, up. Oh, Miss T, did you see the something something in optional block envelope with Billy's blocks? I didn't open it up. I'll open it up when I get home. I didn't open it up, Brenda. I tend to open those things like the day of or the day before I go live. And we're going to be opening those next week. I haven't gotten that many blocks in this month. Maybe they were a challenge. Kathy says she's working on a miniature trip around the world from laundry basket quilts. That's oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, Helena Carter is here, says hi T. Kevin and all quilters. Hey. Patricia just picked up, picked her order up. So thank you, Miss T. Love the pen. You're welcome. Thank you for ordering. Um. Jeff says hello, T and Kev. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. My name Felicia. <laughs> Oh, you're silly. <laughs> uh, T says, my co-worker loaned me the book. Do I need the templates or foundation papers? It's impossible to use templates. It's impossible to use templates in the book. The templates, you, it's going to take you a minute to cut with the templates. I do like the templates, though, for fussy cutting. Templates always have their pros and cons. I almost feel like She's from Australia. When they're using templates, they're mostly doing hand sewing. Exactly. That's what I feel this is. And they're yep. drawing around the templates. And then they use the sew lines yep. for that. That's what I feel this is for. And But you can piece this. Because um, she doesn't even tell you whether the hand or machine. So her Australian instructions are very dry. And I just made the optional blocks for next year very dry. I, I, I'm more, <laughs> I think I do more tips and add-ons than You're she more does. Moist. You're more but moist. I did not do like make a four patch. I just said sew a four patch with these fabrics and that's it. <laughs> I'm not going to show you how to sew two squares together twice and then right. flip one and sew it the other one. It's like we should all know how to make a four patch. If not, there's a YouTube video out there for that. <laughs> If, if you know how to paper piece, this will go a lot faster with paper piecing. But if you want a fussy cut, you're it's not. I'm gonna I'm going I got one here that I'm foundation piecing and then I've got another one cut out that I cut with my templates. This one just happened to be on top because I did it last. With the templates, what I did was I used them and just rough cut around them. Um, what I wanted. So, I got to make sure I have the right side on this fabric because I moved it once already. <laughs> I want to make sure this dot is in here on the right side in the middle. So, I want to go up some more or approximate. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm not going for exactness. But I want that. So I'm Some of them I made the 
quarters go different ways. And some of them, I made them all go the same way. So I'm just trying to do that for interest for myself. So this one's going to be bigger. Put a pin in here to hold it down. I'm going to do just this one because this fabric is large. See if it works. Is it large and in charge? Like large. Uh uh. This ain't up high enough. She's got a new one now, folks. <laughs> She's got a new one. Humpy wouldn't listen, no. Humpy wouldn't listen. <laughs> to see. Um, this is hard to see through because I'm going through so many layers with extra fabric now. Mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> Another leaf blue, folks. Can you believe that? I'm going to lock them out. You don't have to. Well, all right. It's annoying. No, it's all right. People, as, people got dogs and kids. As an owner, it's annoying. It's Kevin. Kevin. Yes, ma'am. Leave those babies alone. He messing with those babies. Uh -oh. Um. No. Jeff is pincushion pattern hunting. Teresa Dawkins is here. Says hi, T and Kevin. Just got back from the grocery store. So happy to catch you live. Excited to see this quilt come together and for you to back in action. So yay, Teresa! Thank you. We're back in action. Uh, Jeff says gonna have to yell that at Scrap Club. What is he talking about? He's talking about your Humpty Dumpty thing. He's talking about your Humpty Dumpty. I bet he is. Humpty just needs to say, off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. That's all he needs to do. Yes, he does. Yo, Humpty! Stay off the wall! <laughs> I'm going to get off and a copyright. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? If they get after you after Humpty Dumpty, then there's a problem there. I think what I'm going to do, now that I know what I want, I'm going to just trim a quarter inch above, well, sort of kind of, a little bit bigger than a quarter inch above the line. Go on, go quick, little man. Don't take you no time doing it. <laughs> she just sat she back just down, sat down there. And she's already. Like, <laughs> uh, you got the wrong girl. He's gonna be playing with you. Did she even let the bone? Uh, he let the bone go, nope. Cooper. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's like tug of war. I'm yep. having to play with you. I figured it was gonna be that. She wants to tug of war. Mm -hmm. mm -mm, Cause I got that with Paige. And I don't like it. And I wanna pay. I wanna do row and fetch. what I want to play, but that's not what you want to play. No. He wants tug of war. Yo, happy. Okay. <laughs> she what is got your that, problem? She got, she's got that in her head, and that's what we're going to hear, folks. <laughs> Stay off the wall. <laughs> So when my, when I talk to my mom and dad, sometimes my dad will just start singing a song on the, you know, on the, a video call. Mm -hmm. And mom looks at him, she's like, where do you turn that channel? <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny. I, I'm going to have to look at you. Where do you turn that channel over there? Uh -uh, don't be like that. <laughs> that is so rude. Oh, yes. You don't so, even have to be like that. So rude. You don't have to be like that. Mm -hmm. Ain't no need to be like that. That's just plain old rude. I can't believe your mama did that. <laughs> and she's such a lady otherwise. She is. <laughs> she's trying to cut that channel off though. <laughs> I'm 
It's gonna it's gonna work regardless. It's gonna work today. It's gonna be today. No, no, not today. Not today, today. Okay. I'm trying to fussy cut these little circles. And keep Pumpy off the wall. No, it's a lot. going to be perfect because I said so. <laughs> okay. Because she said so. <laughs> Until I saw it. <laughs> Miss Tia T. Quilts has spoken. <sighs> Let's see who else is coming here. Then I have to yell that out in a second. Judy says, Kevin, I have three dogs and they go nuts whenever they see a cat outside like that. Leave them dogs alone. Mm-hmm. Patsy Johnson is here, yes. Jen is a hand piecer. You all have inspired me to make this quilt, so I'm sitting uh, here uh, making plastic templates. Yeah, because you can make your yep. own. Yep, good idea. Because yep. they are expensive. They are. I mean, everything's expensive when you can spend, yeah. you know, In money somewhere day. else. Yeah. Right, when you can spend it somewhere else. Um... I mean, it's not just quilting. It's everything is expensive. And that's why I just bought the whole thing, because if I decided it was another quilt that I wanted that was templates, and by the time you buy three sets of individual right. templates, you bought just about the whole box. So I just went ahead and bought the whole box. Yeah. Well, this was my, this was the first one. Whoa, what was that? What was that about? I heard that. Maybe it was the pen. Yep, it was the pen because I had known the dog. It just didn't like it. Say, Humpy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happened? Humpy wouldn't listen. <laughs> talking about it earlier like who uh, knows what's going to happen here today uh, <laughs> for Lily getting up getting her rest in I can yeah, tell you that <laughs> yep okay. oh. she sure is <laughs> okay we're cool we're cool like that cause we're cool like that Okay, one of these days, I'm going to get a block done. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm going to have to cut some more here before long. I'm down to my last five. Oh, well, then you need to get busy. That's why I said yours might go faster. I might try that next time. But I wanted to at least be on the video the first week. Oh, sure. Showing the whole block. Absolutely. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> What time is it? It's an hour. We're an hour in. We're already an hour in. Yep. Holy cow. Well, look at that. Look at those little dots I did all that fussy work for. Cute. Why Humpy wouldn't listen. <laughs> okay. I want this dot right here. So if I do that, She's, she's doing it as quiet as possible. Uh, this, this Cooper think he's slick. It's not gonna work. He's trying to get you to play with him. Mm -hmm. Cooper, work. get over here. Cooper 
wouldn't listen. No, Cooper wouldn't listen. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. He sure wouldn't, and he won't. <laughs> nope, he sure won't. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think he's got some hearing problems. Uh, really? Mm-hmm. He just don't want to do problems. He just don't want to hear it. You ran him off. <laughs> Auntie T ran him off. Hmm. He'll be back because he loves me. <laughs> it won't take long. <laughs> Believe you me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It will not be long. about how many fat quarters are needed. Lots of them. <laughs> you can use scraps. You don't have to use uh, true fat quarters. She was. She had some astronomical amount of um what is it? Um, fat eighths. So like half fat quarters. But you can do whatever you want. Make it scrappy. You don't have to buy nothing. That's right. That's why I'm just using what I got. Kevin's using, his is scrappy. He's just using shirtings. I'm scrappy. I'm just using African fabric. Yep. You know? Work from your smallest on up. These small pieces are very small. I mean, you know, where you couldn't get like Kevin, an inch and a half out. Kevin's trying. I don't know if he's going to make it. He's trying not to use a fabric twice, but he just started. Uh, I plan to use a fabric, but again, if I need to, I got plenty of African fabrics where I don't have to, but I want to make sure I got good contrast as well. But I'm going to use it in a different position, not the same position. So the way he's starting out, he could still use the fabric. It wouldn't be in the same position because you're cutting all your fabric, right. your same size pieces out at the same time. So, um... Just scraps. <laughs> I got a whole container over here of just African prints. I put in about 50 fat quarters because I had saved them from the last time I did the fat quarter bundle. And I'm like, girl, cut some of this stuff. I be trying to use all the scraps before I cut another piece of fabric. <laughs> it's like... We finna mix all of this together, old with the new. Now I'm telling you what, right there's a tried and true scrap quilter right there. Now that's that's what I mean. That's what you've done, you know. You just use your scraps. And I be in my head like I can't go to the wall and get any fabric. I gotta use all these scraps. <laughs> it's like you can use some new fabric. Uh, otherwise, you need to quit buying it. Cause you got plenty of scraps. So I, I made myself cut, cut some. I'm proud of you, Miss T. I'm very proud of you. You're welcome. Anything for you, Kevin. <laughs> I did it just for you. We all know that's a lot. <laughs> it's not. I do everything for oh, you. Oh, yes. Oh, I feel another song coming mm -hmm. on. I'm going to be singing feelings in a minute. Oh, Lord. Because you was that woe is me mood. Oh, my goodness. That's what you are. That's a wedding song. Feelings. <laughs> Nothing more than feelings. Trying to forget my feeling of love. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for your singing pleasure, Miss T, at your wedding, at your birthday party, at your bar mitzvah, at your Christmas party. I think I will be the last person they call. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you want the peanut gallery, <laughs> call me up. <laughs> So 
three sizzles. Hi T, this is Celeste. I've been in and out my room away from the tablet. What templates are you talking about? The templates, um, I don't know which part she's talking about. Uh, if you look in the book, they have a page, because I didn't go there, because I have the original templates, but let me see if I can find them. They got to be in here somewhere, don't they? They're in the very back, I think. Of the quilting or the back of the recipe? I think it's at the very back of the book. I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe back of the quilt. Well, it's at the back of the book. Oh, it is the back of the book. on the quarter inch on the seam I'm sewing and then a half 
stuff into everywhere else the extra. My next time I cut for foundation pieces. So <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's see. Monty Pep says, just got back from Jersey Shore. Hello, everyone. Hey, Welcome back. Jersey Shore, huh? Remo is here. Good afternoon, Miss Ian. Me, Kevin. Because <laughs> you ain't no mister. Me, Kevin. That's what she said. And Quilter's thumbs up. Just came in from the Corn Fest. Dad wanted food, so that's Aww. cool. She's, um, a, she's doing daughter of the year. Food fest. Did you go? I did not. Uh, Mary says, I use Nantucket, Nantucket Summer 36 Fat Quarter Bundle. So that's cool. Uh, Teresa says, beautiful block. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Patsy says, FYI, piece A is three and one half by two and one eight, so no templates needed. Exactly. I told Kevin that the only time you need to use the template if you're fussy cutting, if you can't fussy cut in that two and one eight, you can just lay it down. But you can be eyeball. Like I said, nothing has to be perfect in a quilt that's very busy. It's made to be a busy quilt. So. I'm going to have to cut some more. Well, you're going to have to cut. I'm going to have to. Get busy. I love it. But it also means you sewn at least 20. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. These were. These oh. Ones. It's like 17. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 17 centers on this one, and then. Um, You'll beat me at that rate. <laughs> Seriously. Well, but I mean, it, you know. But you, you cut all day yesterday, didn't you? Not all day, no. When we talked. No, you was cutting. You had already I had cut, cut maybe before. 30 minutes okay. before. Stop. Um, so, yes, you're correct. I told them I, I, I just cut strips and used that to make sure that my fabrics would fit on the templates. Because if you take your templates to your fabric pile, you're going to lose your template. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're easy to lose and put down in the wrong spot. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Joe Carmel says, Miss T, which do you prefer, paper piecing or cutting the templates with this pattern? If I'm, well, I'm a, I'm a paper piecer, so I prefer the paper piecing, but I, I am still using the templates because I'm using them, so when I'm fussy cutting, I'm cutting half inch bigger, and that's what I was just telling Kevin, I need to, on the side I'm sewing, I need to cut it at regular quarter inch seam when I'm fussy cutting. If I'm not fussy cutting, it doesn't matter. But I, I love the templates for just rough cutting around the fabric. So I still am using the templates even when I'm foundation piecing. Rochelle Sears is here, says, hello, Miss T and Kevin, or Miss Ye and Kevin, <laughs> since I'm reading yours wrong. <laughs> ah. mm. Hello, welcome to the chat. Welcome, welcome. Um, I got four more pieces to sew. Let me sew these four pieces so I can talk to y'all or let y'all see my beautiness. Your beautiness? My beautiness that I'm creating over here. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were talking about your personal beautiness. No, I'm not. I'm not all that. Oh, come on now. I'm not all that. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, I know that. I do know that. That's okay too. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Yep. I would recommend that if you're not a person. Oh, can they hear me? Yeah, they can hear you. Okay. I would recommend if you're not a person that changes your blade hey, very much. What are you doing? 
You want to change your blade before you cut with these templates, I'll tell you that. Abby been so good, she just walked right up to me and licked me on the elbow. Uh. <laughs> she scared me. She scared the bejeez out of me. Scared the bejeez. Okay, you two, come here. No, Abby, come here, Abby. Come here, Cooper. It's not an African print, so I may have to go press on a heated iron. Yep, I'm going to have to go to the heated iron for this one. Well, you can't because I ain't letting you use it. Mm -hmm. I hear you. You ain't using my heated iron. <laughs> not today. <laughs> Get away from there. <laughs> you don't tell me what to do. You are not the boss Ain't of me. Ain't that pretty. Look you at that. You are not the boss of me. Look at that. And that's how it is. Ain't that pretty. Two more pieces. And a press. With Kevin's iron. <laughs> she stole it, folks. She stole it. I haven't even pulled mine. I bought, pulled it out the box to make sure it worked and put it right back in. I haven't even used it. My iron. I'm just really impressed with my Olisso. Yeah. Because I, I beat irons up. Well. And that iron is still living from 2018. Do you hear that? Abby had been good. That was just one time. That's, I don't that's care. That's smile for Abby. Now Abby normally jump all the way up on me, standing up tall as my head. <laughs> <laughs> she she been good today, and you still locked her up. They can't get out. I put them in their kennel. Oh, they're in the kennel. Okay, I thought they were just in the room. So you weren't nice to them. I am nice to them. I <laughs> gave them every opportunity to behave, and they have not. He <laughs> locked those babies up. I sure did. You put them in jail. Put them in doggy jail. Well, sometimes that has to happen, you know. about this quilt first time working with the group so that's cool oh cool good night Diane I see you well goodbye <laughs> it's not night yet good night I'm used to saying good night it's been a while since I've been on in the daytime good night <laughs> Oh, yeah, so rude. He is rude. So rude. He used to be my friend. Used to be? Yeah. Yeah? What happened? You. I happened? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He 
I'm sorry I'm off camera, but I'm gonna have to be off camera for a little bit to cut oh, a few wow. pieces. They're really missing you. I know. Well, some of them are. I know my roomie's gonna miss me, right? Joe Carmel? <laughs> you better say right. <laughs> Well, he can't cut standing up over here because it's not tall enough. He has to cut standing. He can't cut sitting. I'll be back in just a jiffy. Yeah, and I talked about templates putting on these true grips for people that came in late. Uh, no more slip-ups. I, I used all of the waist because I had used the true grips. I used all of the waist that you would normally throw away and put them on these little small templates. And I'm telling you, it makes a big difference. Yes, it for does. Slippage. I'm already telling the difference right now. Makes a big difference. I was using my rotating mat and it still had fabric slipping and moving. And I was like, uh-uh. Because -uh. you want that template to stay where it's at once you start cutting. Yes. It's hard to line it back up for accuracy. Yes, it is. up like Humpty. <laughs> like Kevin he said, he got three blocks that three of the um, pieces that he cut for the outer blocks, some of them are not right. Yes. You couldn't save any of them? No, uh-uh. The reason why is because uh, they were cut in two, so it was cut into the seam allowance. Oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? And okay. Oops, I'm going to just sew a quarter and sing from the top. <laughs> on the line, girl. Get on the line. Last thing for this foundation block. Over here. Yeah, I hear it. I need some nice. oil on this thing. You need some oil? I ain't got time for that. Okay. <laughs> Next nope. time and I'll forget again. Okay. <laughs> it's just been sitting. Because it's been a while since I've sewed on it. It's been a while since we've been back together. I was with you on my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. But you didn't sew. It's magic. It's I was with you. You did It's my sew. birthday. You said since we've been together. You I need to, meant. You need, this I don't capacity. care what you meant. Oh my God. Talking about what you said. Uh, sir. Oh my word. Oh my lanta. Whatever. You don't use that iron. <laughs> what iron? <laughs> What is that that you're referring to? <laughs> it's a mean self. Mm -hmm. Just mean. I'm just honorary. The, I'm an honorary honorary. The next quote that I like is diamond exchange. And it's set in seam. So it's like for you to hand piece or you're going to have to do some set in seams. <laughs> And I don't think I'm going to be hand-piecing anything. <laughs> Just scare them all away now, Miss T. Well, I'm talking about the next quote that I like. I didn't say I that's don't... the next one we're doing. Oh, well, oh, really? I did not say that. You did not? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we haven't even made one block for this quilt. We're on well, to the next. I have made, I've made. I'm on two now. I'm on a roll. Oh, Look. she's on a roll. Yeah. <laughs> that rock won't roll. <laughs> that rock won't roll. I got two. <laughs> you will have 30 all at one time, see? <laughs> and I'll be still at four. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible, isn't it? Mm. <sighs> Only thing I don't like pa about paper piecing is like on this, you have to sew on the lines in yeah. order for it to be, you know, the points to yeah. be right where you mm -hmm. want them. 
did not mess that up. Um, I hate tearing all the paper off at the end. That's why I don't like stitching on the line. Stitching on the paper. I stitch like one line on the paper and then I don't stitch anymore. But I have a feeling I'm going to have to stitch all of these. I can try it, but I think it's going to be a pain if I don't. Hey, Huffy! Now you just get away. Oh. Look at that. Look at how pretty! So my little fussy cut dots I was working with. And then I put the little uh, balls in the middle. Miss T, you're a professional. Look at you. Yes, boo. That's a professional quilter right there, folks, for you. Right there. For your viewing pleasure. A professional quilter. Uh, Joe Cormel talking about absolutely right, Groomy. <laughs> Leetta Bryant says hi, T and Kevin. Hey, hey Leetta. Remo likes my block, says beautiful. Patsy says beautiful. T says I like the second quilt point added. I like the second quilt point added. I guess the dots. Uh, Celeste says, cute, love, African print. Thank you. Why seems? I'm running. <laughs> oh, I'm running. I'm going to see the other way. That's Joe Carmel. <laughs> <laughs> print Adidas. Over here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. It's been a long day, T. T. You've got to work with me. <laughs> oh. Ugh. All right. So I have another block here that I use templates for. So. It's been an hour and a half. Now, I do read comments, so, like, if I will, I can't really use these times of how I'm sewing to tell you efficiency as far as sewing time. Um, because I'm talking to you guys, so I have to do that, like, on the side later. I'm going to put my quarter-inch foot back on, move my needle so I don't break it. And now I'm going to sew a block that's just template pieces that I cut from the template pieces. So, And it's going to have blue corners as well. Let me get up. You're not going to be able to see it all, but I'll show you what I can. So this is what I'm about to sew Ooh, now. Pretty. I love those fabrics. There's a method to the madness. Oh, there is. Of the of, of the of the using blue out here again. Uh oh. There, you keeping something secret? The second in the book. Oh, she's saying the <laughs> the second quilt. That's why I was like, what is she talking about? That block? She says the second quilt in the book. Oh, point Adidas. I like that, too. And this one looked like it's something that could have been foundation pieced. And it is cutting. It's templates. So, we'll, we'll see right on that. We'll just get right on that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm over here whispering. 
we'll just skip right on over that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna. The next quote's gonna be a rotary cut, just so we can get some satisfaction out of doing a quilt um, faster, and then go to another template one. All right, so we are now sewing with templates. We're just doing quarter inch seams this time. Make sure I do just a quarter, girl. No bigger. Just a quarter. It'll only cost you a quarter. It should go faster than paper piecing. Paper piecing makes it more precision, my opinion. <laughs> I'm still over here, folks. <laughs> How many have you cut? Well, the first two, uh, I had to line up. You know what I'm saying? Like line their uh, lines up. You was able to use them? Well, no. The I ones mean, you had cut. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you had lines on the fabric yeah. you had. Oh, okay. So, so that was a fussy cut, in a way. In a way, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure was. Mm -hmm. little center section here four pieces so that's like log cabin round one <laughs> <laughs> it is it's like a log cabin mm -hmm. yeah somebody in there crying their yeah, feelings well, he, are hurt well he's hurt my feelings by not mis by not behaving so and you just like you're bad when you punish all the children for one child well, that wasn't all the children because Abby broke out twice in barking. So. And then what about poor little Miss Lily May? Lily May was over here sleeping at my feet and she said, I'm done, folks. I'm going upstairs. She went upstairs? Mm -hmm. Oh, so she was never locked up. No, she can be trusted. <laughs> she can be trusted. The discrimination, although I do, she is the sweetest dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
And she got the true woe with me eyes, too. Mm -hmm. I've been so abused, just feed me, even though I just fed, been fed 30 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. They don't feed me. Right. <laughs> She was never in jail. Oh no, she doesn't. She doesn't ever have to go to jail. But she's a good girl. Did anyone say they're working on this with us? Um, somebody said they was cutting the fabric. First time working with the group, Diane McCoy. Okay. Patricia Priest. Joe Carmel, if she, <laughs> she, <laughs> she make a unit. <laughs> um, Anita Nance. Miss Benina's in here? J not in here, but oh. she got the book and oh, she got okay. the foundation. She got the foundation from me. She got the book. Patricia Freeze. Who else? Um, um, who else? Um, Remo, Miss Vivian. I will tell you this, uh, at the end of those grip things, mm -hmm. much better. Much well, you better. owe me. Okay, how much do I owe you? $5,000. And are you okay with getting that in the I'll take pennies, far off future? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take pennies. I'll be right there tonight. They spin. <laughs> right now they do. Thank God. <laughs> I know. You know. I don't like using I know that drives you nuts. Like yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. I know. I'm going to have to go to the wall more and buy me some bread. I got some bread. I got some bread. I just better remember to bring some. having a fit and I don't even know why. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm looking everywhere like, did I, 
And I'm like, girl, you know you took this machine straight off the big thread spool. <laughs> you know what that is. We were piecing those blocks, and it took about three hours. Right. Three hours. <laughs> we're just yeah. sewing just to sew. It was three hours. All right. We'll have a better idea of what we're doing, you know, how we're going to do it. Maybe. Maybe. Always enjoy sewing with my good friend Miss T. Well, you look like that. <laughs> I enjoy it too. Uh, I it's know. always nice to sew with somebody. Yeah, else. especially if you like them. <laughs> <laughs> you all know she likes me. She that's, would. That's why I started Scrap Club. It was just more like a let's just go out and sew. Your scrap club where you can put the work. I get up, do like 10, 15 minutes feel. I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin had a whole presentation. It was a nice scrap club, though. We but had I was a like, that's a lot of work we were doing. We had a, a really nice time. And, for and I what still haven't made your live. Thing. My the Fourth of July, August, September, that seatbelt thing. Oh, I don't know that I'll be able to do that. <laughs> You're gonna get marked an X. Well, that's okay. You'll be like X. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna do it just to do it one time. So you have to take the challenge sometimes, you know. The quilts was easy. You had them things done in two days. All three of them. <laughs> You already were, had the, the year long done, so you can, you can go out of your comfort zone and do that, sir. I, I can? It's not a zipper. <laughs> yes, you can. I do kind of pigeonhole myself. As far as that's concerned, I like piecing quilts. I love piecing quilts. All right. Round number three. Last brown is going to be blue. Folks, I think there's something going on with the blue here. I think she's got something going on. Are, is it the same exact blue? Mm -hmm. It is? Mm -hmm. You're going to use that in all of them? You don't tell me. You don't know about, I, you don't know about me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to guess what's up your sleeve is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to guess what's up your sleeve. You'll yeah. we'll find out in five minutes. In five minutes? When five minutes? Five minutes is six minutes. Dougie Fresh, you're on. Well, that, that is five. You said five, so that's why I said five. Dougie Fresh. That's why I said du, 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 five. Du, 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 du. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Dougie Fresh. <laughs> oh, me and my daughter, we used to sit down, we used to do the special effects of songs. <laughs> Either it be music or the words. Michael Jackson kind of was a challenge. Ooh. Because that man was making us up. Him and James Brown. So. Made up words. Can you do an excerpt? No. For us? Not anymore. That was a long time ago. 
Oh, I think you could. I think you could. Lifting and stitching. Lifting and stitching. Hi there. Not sewing alone, but watching. Are you going to quilt con in February? I haven't decided. That's in North Carolina, I think, next year. I haven't decided. Probably not, because I got a lot of other traveling going to Hawaii next year. And I have two, three quilt three retreats prior to the fourth retreat that I'm hosting. <laughs> so that's four <laughs> retreats by June, Hawaii. Wow. Paducah. I will go to Paducah. Uh, so that's one quilt show. Plus, I'm going to be teaching. I think not this time. I did enjoy quilt con, though. Uh, I know you have to be somebody that like modern quilting but i didn't just look at it from the uh, spectrum of just modern quilting i looked at it from the point of how quilts are quilted i think people go to quilt shows and they only look at how a quilt is pieced i look at how binding is put on that's how we found out about the <laughs> yeah. winning quilt having uh, machine binding and hardly anybody knew that until we were back there discussing it we were being nosy and uh, I, I look at how quilts are made because I'm looking at, I'm looking for techniques. I'm looking for simplistic quilting that makes a quilt look good as well. I keep telling people you don't have to, you know, go crazy with the quilting in order to have a quilt looks good, look good. Now, I'm not saying the quilts that are quilted heavily don't look good, but I'm saying some of the other ones are just as equally pretty. Right. So I, I don't go for just the showstoppers. And you got to remember, being a show judge, even the professionals, it's all still their opinion. Subjective. It's, it's so many beautiful quilts in these quilt shows that it's um, difficult to pick just one. I don't even vote when I go to the big shows. I don't even vote no. for my favorite for viewer's choice I don't either. because it's too many. Like, how am I going to pick one quilt? I can't. So no quilt con for me. All that for one little yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> Joe says, yes, I'm in. May use Alice in glass fabric. You guys know I don't do scrappy well, laughing out loud. So she's going to use a line. Blackbird here says, hello, T. Kevin in the chat. Hey. Nikki says, I love sewing with you two, but I love being home. I have bed heads and and just threw on some uh, shorts and a t-shirt. My legs needs to be mowed. <laughs> Dang, but this is why I sew along. <laughs> okay, Nikki. <laughs> she just let it out. Well, you know. <laughs> it is mowing season. <laughs> I am really kind of yet. digging all of these shirtings. Yeah, it's the, the end result of these units is really pretty. Yeah. I think any quilt that, if, if I made the first block and I didn't like it, or if I didn't, like the technique was just totally like, this is undoable, like it was difficult to piece, I would have backed out on my first test block. Right. But, um... This project is doable. It's just going to take a while. It's not one of those, I'll finish it overnight. Well, it's not a quilt in a day. You all better be ready for it. <laughs> we'll complete this probably in a year. <laughs> or two. It won't. It won't. Not the way you're doing yours, it won't. <laughs> you're working on 30 blocks at a time. Ready to press. Oh, no, I'm not. You can't use I my do iron. have to press because I got the blue fabric. You can't use my iron. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I respect everything about that. Uh huh. I'll just use my hand. Yeah. <laughs> just smack me upside the head with.
Now she's singing happy Nick trails. Nick, like you never know what I'm going to say. But I have my dogs here and listening to you too, so that's cool. See, she, she didn't mind the dogs. I don't mind the dogs when they behave, but when they don't behave, that's when I mind. Oh, yes, I know. I'm horrible. On these bigger outer pieces, uh, I didn't put starch in this fabric. In the future, I might just to stiffen it up a little bit. Because you know, I'm pinning this stretch. to make sure it doesn't stretch or anything because it's a little bit lighter than the... Uh, and weight than my African prints. But I was, you know, I was cutting last night started at 1030. <laughs> it is what it is. Like I got an appointment tomorrow. I got to, I got to prepare for work. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, it's mowing season, laughing out loud. That's Patsy laughing at your <laughs> comment. All right. Where was it? One more. Well, two more seams to sew. I need one more pin. <laughs> Guess I need to clarify. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, my seam is not comfortable. From this big old heart that's taking over my chat. All right, one more seam, and then I have another block completed. Which did you enjoy better? I enjoyed the sewing of the templates, but the cutting of the foundation. I know. Because <laughs> I didn't have to really cut. I cut like, it's a matter of picking fabric, and then I was almost done. Yeah. I got to go to the restroom, Kevin. I'll be right back. Am I taking over here? I am hijacking this <laughs> T's channel. You do you, boo. Going to hijack our channel. You do you. You do be you boo 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 boo. I just made a new block. Until happy trails to you. I wonder how that'll fit into your quilt. <laughs> it's playing that way. Oh, it's way. playing. Okay. It's playing. Are you sure you got the right corner? <laughs> Make sure you got the right corner before you. It's the right corner because this fabric is just. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Folks, get your questions in here so whenever Miss T comes back, we can ask her. <laughs> you know she went to the restroom. You know. She went to the restroom. Valerie Bull, Kevin, it is better to be consistent with discipline. Otherwise, kids and pets get confused and we have to get upset with them. Lose, lose for all. Better for everyone to be happy with each other. Yeah, that, but you just got some dogs that just don't listen. That's Cooper. He just don't listen. He know you're not supposed mm -hmm. to. And I am very consistent with discipline. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh. He's a he's a still a puppy. He's only one, but he he just don't obey the commands. Even though he know him, he'll like do it for half a second. <laughs> <laughs> <It's bad. laughs> he's all boy. 
I mean, if you just think of a little boy that just, uh, they may be a good boy, but they don't listen all the time. Well, you should know. Now, I'm just letting you know I was excellent. I was That's excellent what your mom boy. says, but I don't believe it. You think my mom's a liar? Is that I what think you're she covers for you. Is that what she you're loves you? Uh huh. You evidently she told don't know you. My mom. She told you to fix me a good meal, and then when I told her I didn't get a good meal, she was like, "Oh, you guess cute, Eddie." see it that well but you know <laughs> it's as good as I can do <laughs> are we not getting up <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show you this but I'm not <laughs> all right I got this old floppy corner off are they in different channels too mm -hmm. no they're good. They're together, so that's why they're good. They're good. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Add in at the top. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Notice she didn't. She didn't need to use the bathroom after that. <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't going to the bathroom. I was going to the iron anyway. I thought you said that again. I did, but I was throwing you off. <laughs> Like that backup stuff, you know. Uh huh. I gotta go to the bathroom and then you don't get up and then, you know, get some iron. Because <laughs> you don't want me to use it. Exactly, it's my iron. I hear you. Mm -hmm. All right, one more time, we're gonna sew this. And if it don't happen, Right. Then we just gonna throw the whole thing in the trash. Throw the whole thing in the trash. <laughs> uh. Is it more waste on paper piece or template? You're gonna have waste on paper piece. Patricia, I don't know if you was in here early. I told them that I what I did was I marked, I measured my templates so that they were on a straighter grain and then I cut strips to cut my pieces out of when I'm cutting with the templates. Unless I'm fussy cutting. Um, and then that way, I use, I use just the amount of fabric that I need for the template. I measured them all and then I wrote those numbers in my book. Some of them I cut bigger because two pieces are cut out of the same fabric on some of the templates, a couple of them. Hi, Yolanda Hale, says hello T and Kevin. Hey. Mimo says she's enjoying, the sh loving the show. Well, good. Leanna says, Kevin, is that one of Bonnie's quilts on your design wall? Yes, it is. It's her leader ender hourglass. Yolanda, Kevin, I like your wall board. Where did you get it? I like it. It is Cafe Grid Flannel. Thank you. I do too. I love the. Uh, I love my design models. Okay, let's see. You're welcome, Patricia. Uh-uh, you ain't knocking me off. This is mine. <laughs> Guess who got whoever, knocked off the iron? Whoever has the iron wins. <laughs> <laughs> 
Because that's the heat. You don't want to run in the heat. You sewed it again wrong. <laughs> All right, here is my block now fixed. <laughs> and it goes right here. Like that. So this is row number two. So it's kind of be like a checkerboard. So then my next blocks, I'll have all African print. So it'll be another African print here. So that my African prints are not all running into each other from block to block. So that's kind of what I'm doing. And I haven't decided I I might do row, every other row, blue when I put the blues in, or just do all blues. I haven't decided yet, or do different colors. So I haven't decided yet. So we'll see. Thank you, Yolanda. That's so pretty. I love the fabric. memory, I think. Um, you was already over there, and then you come walking past on my phone. Oh. <laughs> what is the pattern? It's called Winsleydale by Jen Kingwell. And I'm at the point where I've got to do some cutting and fabric selections and such. And such. <laughs> and that's what Kevin is doing over all my Yes, on the side. I hate that I can't do it there, but I just, I really can't. So, Especially since my back debacle. Uh, I guess I should pull all of this down. Figure out how I can. Oops. I'm trying to figure out how can I <laughs> make it so that I'm in this screen. But Do you not. need to move it? Mm -mm. You oh, sure? Well, like you're over there. You can turn. You can turn. So I have just a little bit of African fabric. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> Just this a thing little. probably weighed 40 pounds. <laughs> when I got here, Kevin go, can I help you with anything? I gave him here. She said, that looks heavy. I said, that you think I'm, my mama raised a fool? <laughs> I gave him the heavy container. <laughs> and I took the light bag. <laughs> oh, goodness. But lots and lots of African threads. So, um, I'm just going to, these are my true fat quarters. I had pulled some other ones, solid colors, that I might want to alternate when I get to that. My next blocks are going to be three African fabrics. So one in each row, then I'll be, the, the two rows up there, then I'll be starting my third. So I'm working on my quilt kind of diagonally. Um, not that it matters, it's just that it does matter when I do the, what color block, but it doesn't have to stay in that spot. So I just got a few colors that I just pulled out. Those are fat quarters. I got, um, this is that blue I just bought by the boat, the whole boat. So it was sitting there. So that's why I picked blue. So let's see. I got these scraps here. I tried to start with the small stuff. And then I'm not trying to use any repeat fabrics right away. <laughs> so... have stuff everywhere I'm trying to see if one of my other scrap bags are these are really tiny pieces so we won't be using that those are my crumbs all right 
So I just look through here, see if it's anything I might want to put in the center. I like this, like I'll fussy cut something out of this fabric for my center. Just to make it interesting every here and there. <laughs> bird in it so I might use the bird for the center and then use the green to go around but see sometimes you have one fabric that can work as two fabrics so those are my center so I'm going to go ahead and cut those out cut two out and I'm going to fussy cut those with the template so I'm going to get my templates Like I said, I do have foundation um, piecing as well, and I can't even tilt you down more. <laughs> do you need to move, move it? I'm fine. Okay. Uh, you're not going to be able to see for detail. I'm going to take out piece A, B, and C. And like I said, A can just be cut. Um, You don't even have to do the template with that. But I'm going to pl put place it here because it's just easier for me to use it if I'm fussy cutting. Which is what I'm doing right now. I'm going to move these rulers to the floor. And I do have the true grips on my rulers already. All of them. I put them on all of them. So it's a matter of do I want the yellow in the middle or do I want this purple in the middle. That could be two different centers. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut three centers, I guess. I'm almost wondering if the alphabet is right in the center, Kevin. The alphabet? Mm -hmm. You know, the of the template. Oh. Yep. So I am going to fussy cut my A instead of cutting from a strip because I can. Not because I want to because it's irking me to have holes. <laughs> but I'm doing it anyway. And then what I like about the rotating mats is I just rotate it around without moving my template. I'm just holding it down because I got the grips on it. Go ahead and cut all the way around. I like that. Oh, that's pretty. And I'm going to cut another one because I got the yellow one and then it's got a purple, the purple one. So I'm going to cut two. Very pretty. So that's two centers. Well, look at that. And that alphabet, that A sits right in the middle of this flower circle. That's why I'm thinking. Uh huh. Yeah, I saw what you were saying. Uh, dead on center because I was uh -huh. like she didn't mark a plus in the center mm -hmm. all right here we go cut out number two and this is still a I'm just cutting out some a's right now I'm fussy. I want to anything that I can fussy cut. I want to go ahead and fussy cut with my template. All right. right here and I'll show you once I cut I got one more I know I want to cut so 
this is what I cut out of. This is my cottage cheese. I hate fabric like that. Cottage <laughs> cheese. I do. I hate it. <laughs> but mm -hmm. you sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. And I don't think I have this fabric in here. Let's see. It's like these are scraps. This one before I cut it up. Nope. I don't. So cut we do. Cut we do. <laughs> we want what we want. Even if it frays us cottage cheese. I did use this fabric before. This gray. Does it still cut? Okay. Oh, it's still, I must have cut it for something else. Okay. That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> this bird's big. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. We'll just put the front half of them. We're still going to fussy cut them. <laughs> So it does take some patience to cut, but it's when you get your blocks on, it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. this off <laughs> so I can get around it. Um, right there. All right, just cut a smaller piece off. I want to see if I can cut B and C off of here. And if I do, I have to make sure that these lines are running the way I want. Let's see. I lost my screen. I haven't been on here. Oh. All right. Let's see. Uh, Valerie says, that would be a beautiful quilt. Thank you, Miss T. You are picking your fabrics as you go along. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to just cut some now and then. Because Kevin just cut. And then he's matching up as he goes, but he's using a light dark. My problem with the African prints is that I don't necessarily have lights and darks. I'm having to do color contrast, kind of like working with K-Facet fabrics. So it's a little bit different. I want to turn you all so you all can see that he's back. T, do you have another scrap bag for sale? No, I don't have any scrap bags for sale. These are my fat quarters. 
that I uh, save for myself and I've just been cutting off pieces. I don't have any official scrap bags because I haven't cut any kits. I need to do some kit cutting. Thank you, Patsy, says your African fabric scraps are drop-dead gorgeous. Yes, yeah. they are. What I do, when I sell fat quarter bundles, I take one fat quarter out of every fabric for myself, and I put it in this bin. And um, So that's what this is, and I'm just cutting. I cut my quilts from that, so I don't officially have any scraps right now. Those, what, what, you, what I pulled off the top was my last set of fat quarters, and I've just... Some of them I've already cut into, and some of them, I, most of them I haven't, because I've only made three blocks. <laughs> so, but I'm going to be working on, I told Kevin I was going to work them out of all my scraps, and I'm like, girl, you can add some more African prints to put some different ones in there. But I'm using the, trying to use some of my small scraps first, because these are the last like true small scraps I have that I can't cut anything major out of so I'm trying to use these because some of the pieces are small never ending I can see that you're picking from pre-chosen fabric is this your version of quilt as you go laughing out loud no well my, like I said I think I explained it I, her question just was already in the queue um, I'm having, I have to make sure that I'm contrasting from one fabric, African print, to the next because African prints are all busy and I'm trying not to put solid inside of the block. Uh, so that's what's going on with that. I'm using the solid on the outside as a design feature so that the blocks don't all run into each other as I'm making them because that's what will happen with African prints. Thank you, Yolanda. She's reminding people to hit the thumbs up button. Um, Nemo says, fussy cutting, loving it. Yes. So, yeah. So, I'm just playing around. Now, I'm trying to see if I can get two Bs and a C off of this fabric next that I got here. Okay. So I'm using this same bird fabric, but this time I'm pulling out the stripes because it looks like two different fabrics when it's pulled out. I don't have to put it back with the bird block. I can put it with another block, and you would never know it's the same fabric being used. That's the beauty of some of the African prints. Like, I pulled two different centers out of one fabric. Because I didn't necessarily want to put the same uh, fabric in the center, but it's a different segment of it. It looks like it's from a totally different piece of fabric. So this is what I'm doing now, I'm fussy cutting, uh, not fussy cutting, but I'm cutting, you can't see it, I'm cutting strips, and uh, they're going to be having the little stripes going out towards the outside of the quilt. I might lose a little fabric here and there when I'm fussy cutting, but I like it. D out in the center. So you can have a lot of fun with uh, the templates with fussy cutting. And I could do this also with foundation piecing. I just have to be careful when I put it down, that's all. Forget about me. Mm -hmm. All right. Almost got the second D cut out, and then I need two C's. So 
So I just wanted to show you all, you know, this process that it's, it's not easy to cut, but it's very rewarding in the end. All right. Now I need two C's to finish this log cabin round. And I'm going to put this back on the center. C. This is the C top right here. I'm going to have to mark it some kind of way. So let me, that's the top. Mark pin. So let me mark it. On template C, you need to know which side is the top. It's not an equilateral triangle. So I just put a little line with my ink pen in the salvage that I can see. C. One more C. And then that's round one for one block. <laughs> Are you creating Facebook page? Um, no. <laughs> I wasn't planning on. Um, um, I guess I could if it's a way for you all to share your photos. I guess I could. Um, if Okay, wait for you guys to share your photos when you finish your blocks. I guess I could do that. And then that way, um, maybe I can download them and then show them in a video or something on YouTube for you guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you so silly. Uh-oh. The wrong person coming. <laughs> They're just doing a little bit of moaning. They miss us. just trying to look and see if there's anything that I want to use from my scraps before I go to my uh, fat quarter pieces. Got this purple and green. I got enough purple here. I might to cut something out of just the purples. one's just like a check. It can go anywhere. This one's got some detailing I can fussy cut out too. So I gotta be willing to lose some fabric when you're fussy cutting. 
and that's hard for me so this is new for me <laughs> um I, I have fussy cut before but not on this level of this many pieces I think I can get two purples out of this side and then I can get my and purple can go around my bird and I can even put some of the green in the seam allowance it won't even matter too much pressure on my hand on my little board here the whole thing moved <laughs> I'm cutting on the edge instead of in the middle all right that's a B that can go on this one so I do have to cut for what I'm needing because if I just cut random fabric I'm gonna be having to have a whole lot cut out and then have to sit down and match them up anyway. So I may as well match them as I'm cutting. So that's why I'm matching them up. Because I need contrast. Contrast is key. Okay. Turn this around. I keep getting on the edge instead of in the middle of the board. I don't know what's up with that. I should have brought my Brooklyn Revolver and I didn't. Brooklyn Revolver. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a gun. <laughs> well, I should need it. Oh, yeah. Well, around me, yeah. It takes a minute. I'm just doing yeah. this so you all see what this process is. This, it does. I had not done um, one of these yet. And the, the hardest ones are going to be your first cuts, your uh, B and C, because they're so tiny. Mm -hmm. And then your templates are going to get larger as you go, so it gets easier as far as holding on to your pieces. And you want to use a turntable. <laughs> if you got one, I don't think you have one, do you, Kevin? I do. Oh, yeah, okay. I. I but you're not do. using it. Typically, I use a smaller cutting mat. That and then I can you just, just rotate turn. the. Yeah. Then I want to keep my hand on here, and then I put a little dot up here so I know this is the outside. I'm cut just cut a C. So that's the top, and then. Just a little hints of green, but this green is not going to show when it's stitched into the block. And I'll show you when I get all get pieces for all three of my little center sections I cut. <laughs> what time is it? We got time, yeah. I'm going to make sure we had time. <laughs> we will get off at three. I got to drive home. And then I have to decide if I'm doing tonight's <laughs> tonight's thing or not. Maybe I'll sit down and cut tonight. Okay, so this is my top. And I always like to double check. So that's 
the top. Because I'm like, maybe I need to sit down and just cut. Maybe I'll be doing a cutting, a sewing cut. <laughs> <laughs> no, a chatting cut. A chatting cut. Cut and chat. Because there is going to be a lot of cutting on this one, I'll tell mm -hmm. you. Because cutting is going to be the main thing. It really is. Okay, so then I've got this one. I don't have enough green in this particular piece to cut green out of here for all four pieces. So I have to do something else. Unless I got another piece somewhere. But I, let's see. Yeah, these are tiny pieces. This, yeah, it doesn't are, have a lot of green. I would rather work with one inch squares than some of these, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but it, like I said, once you get started, and it's only because when you've got big hands, you don't have a lot of room to it's put only, on a template. No. This is your C template. And this is the height of your B template. This is the height. You got to find a place to put your fingers. That's why That's I don't right. like Marty Michelle stuff because her templates were too tiny. They were I'm like, they should already come with stuff on the back of those little bitty things. So this is the height of your B template. It's not very much. It's just like find an inch like that. Yeah. <laughs> like that in my hand. Just drop it. Mm -hmm. It's not very big. It is not. So I don't have um, any more of this. This does not have a lot of green, so I can't pull the green out of here from these pieces anyway. So um, we can pull the red out of here. Try to pull the one that has the most out first <laughs> so I can get, you know, the majority of my cuts and then I come back and see if I can, like, maybe fussy cut a center. I can do that right now. Fussy cut a center on this white. Now I'm making a fourth center. <laughs> I didn't put it on the right rotating mat. I just started cutting. Oh. <laughs> I saw something and went for it, okay? <laughs> I don't want my template to move, so we're going to do what we got to do. Okay. Rotate the whole mat. found another little fussy cut center to use. You did. In this fabric that I'm going to cut the red out. Cool. Like, may as well use that. Oh, that is cool. Mm. Yeah. So now we're just going to cut any parts of the red. I don't care what it looks like. Any part. Two more that I got to cut for, and then I will have finished what I had for today. And how many is that? Thirty. Oh wow! So it's the thirty. Two more to cut for? Yeah, these two. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. See, you're going faster doing it that way, I think, because even if I did block for block, I still wouldn't be at the same rate you are. Well, you're, you may be more precise, but <laughs> <laughs> everything's, 
And it is. Uh, I just, I find paper piecing fiddly. That's the only way I can describe it. It's just, it's a lot of steps to get something done, you know. And, and the the results are always great. But I just, I don't know, I just like the machine going and going and going. Yeah, because once you start sewing and you're just shooting them through. Mm -hmm. So two more. We can do it, folks. We can do it. I do like the sewing of the templates, though. I, I you know. The I, sewing of the templates? Uh-huh, because so they just, they over, just, yeah. mm -hmm, once you cut them, you're done. You just sew them. You don't have to pull off any paper. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's one. Where did I cut that from? Right here. Keep cutting on this board, that's the wrong board. <laughs> Two C's. Can I get a C? <laughs> sure. Piece up here on the fabric. I want to say you can lose these jokers quick. Yeah. Playing around. They're pretty tiny. And get the right cutting board to worm. This is for when I need to cut strips. <laughs> this is for when I need to cut templates. Small ones anyway, for sure. Alright. And then I didn't even bring the rotating part. <laughs> I just picked up the top. <laughs> I don't like these things in three pieces. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a, is that what you got in Branson? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like it. And it came with bigger. It's, yeah, right? a bigger one. Yeah. And I was desperate because I didn't have the book. My Brooklyn Revolver is almost dead to the point where it couldn't cut. Right. And then when I got back home, was talking about the Brooklyn Revolver. Remember, Sue sent me hers, almost I brand new. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I said, "Oh Lord, I wish I hadn't bought this thing." Sue's a cute. Because I love Brooklyn Revolver. I am so mad. Do they not make them anymore? The company is no longer in oh, business, okay. and I don't know what happened. They just like disappeared, and without making any announcement that I was aware of. Huh. I haven't found anything else when I Googled them to say what happened. I don't know if somebody passed or what. You know, yeah. things happen. But I still wasn't happy about it. <laughs> 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 I want my Brooklyn revolver. <laughs> I'm gonna cut one more C and then I'll let you see what I've cut from my fabric. Uh, I had cut that fourth one because out of here, because I was gonna have the scrap anyway. So I just took advantage and fussy cut another piece from this fabric. That doesn't look like the fabric because I'm cutting out the red parts. Okay. 
Okay, I gotta go through the asterisk and mark the top. Pull the seam around. And it's a little wrinkled up. It's been folded, but that's okay. We'll fix it. <laughs> I need all of these pieces right here. Like, why isn't this attached? She told me a reason why, but I, it don't still don't make no sense today. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go home and glue these two pieces together. I might even glue this on here. You know, I'm finna crazy glue, gorilla glue. That girl with the gorilla glue, she said she put it in her head. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> 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 I like the size of it. Well, if it worked for her, it can work for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> All right. Here are, here's my tray where I fussy cut some A. It's the center. B's. And then these are C's. So that's what Kevin has been sewing the whole time. And they're really pretty. He's not sharing very well. <laughs> Let me see that board. What board? This one? Because you can see through the fabric. That's why I laid mine on a tray. But we'll just put some of these up here so they can see That's what these board. look like. That's a pretty. Some of them are not iron, just so you know. Like I pressed the oh my first God, ones. Look at this mess. <gasps> <laughs> So, uh, what Kevin is doing, he's contrasting lights and darks between his rounds. And so far, he says he hasn't used the same fabric yet. Now, they haven't all been pressed, but look at that. Cheese! <laughs> <laughs> that is so pretty. I'm enjoying the It's going to be a beautiful this. quilt. Yeah, I think it's going to be a masculine looking quilt. It's beautiful, though. And I'm cool with that. I love recycled shirtings. I just love them. Gorgeous. Thank you. Yours as well, my dear. Oh, my thanks. Well, you're welcome. Oh, my thanks. <laughs> <sighs> I think I can cut this off. Well, that didn't you work. You ain't done sewing. Okay. You, you still have 18 minutes of sewing left. I'm cutting. Oh, okay. You're not gonna. How are you gonna? Are you gonna put him another piece of felt or? Uh, That's how I came in. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Do you? Mm. Have you done this before? Hmm. <laughs> 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 she can't do any attention. Like she can't that. do. She can't deal with me right. Um, I wonder what this would look like. They're going sideways. See, these are those clamshells. Those are pretty. But they're going sideways. But I'm okay with that. That's pretty. Well, you can, but They'll you can cut it. They'll be going this way. Yeah, you can cut it to I'm, where they're all going the same way. No, because it's not wide enough. Are you sure? I think Yeah, it it's not. I'm telling you. But the thing of it is, is. I'm cutting it the other way, though. Be, I don't really care. I just want to put it in here. <laughs> what I'm saying is. Cut that, and then whenever you're done, use that edge that you cut to do the other one, and it'll be going the same way. That's what I've been doing with mine. I know. But they're going to be sideways clamps, but I think when it's cut, you ain't going to know what it is oh, anyway. No, it's no. just the color. I thought, I'm going to put this color up against here. I thought you were just concerned about them all going the same way. No. 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 Can I have my... Uh, my grips back. <laughs> I'm make you work harder. Can I have all my grips back off of those pencils? Sure. I'll get them <laughs> as soon as I'm done with these last two blocks. I want them now, all. I'll tell you what. That did make a difference. Uh -huh. Major difference. Major difference, Miss T. Maybe that's what I'm doing on my live tonight. 
right? Because otherwise, I ain't gonna ever get these these blocks done. I got to sit down and do a dedicated <laughs> sewing, a cutting session. It is a lot of cutting, a lot. Okay. And the older I get, and the worse my wrists get, the less I enjoy the cutting part. I'm like, do these, do these come in an actual quilt die? <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm. No kidding. Just not the color. This thing right here, that's why I'm gonna keep moving. It's getting some gorilla glow. <laughs> If I had some, I'd give it to you, but I don't have it. It's probably going to have to, you know, sit after I do it. Right. So. I love what you've come up with so far. I mean, you're very pretty box. Very, very pretty. Let's see what people are saying, Miss T. What people? <laughs> what people? Did they all leave? I forgot. <laughs> Did they all leave? Um... Where did you My stop? My cat disappeared. My cat disappeared. Where did you stop? I don't know because my chat disappeared. Are you not listening Patsy to me? Patsy Johnson said your African fabric scraps are drop-dead gorgeous. Thank you. Valerie Bull says, never ending. I can see that you picking from... Oh, I think I read that. Oh, okay. Oh, that's yeah. Thumbs up, everyone. Fussy cutting, love it. From Remo. Oh, yeah. Um, she said, are you creating a Facebook page? Um, yeah, that was the last one I read. Valerie Bull says, I'm learning a lot from what you're showing us. Thank you. Awesome. Joe Carmel, my Ruby, says, okay, I'm back. Drop the package off at dialysis. What did I miss? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> nothing. You missed nothing. Deb Quince, hello, T and Kevin. Hey, Deborah. Hey, hey Deborah. Hey, Deborah. a long time. Patsy Johnson, my templates are all done. So during your live tonight, I'll pour myself a few glasses of wine and cut out some lots. Good luck. <laughs> Don't she, drink too much see, wine. She made her templates. Who was yeah, that? That is uh, Patsy Johnson. Uh -huh, so she made hers. And Betsy's talking to her asking, what did you make your templates from? And she says she just used a clear shopping mat from Dollar Tree. Which mm -hmm. is pretty sturdy, or you can mm -hmm. use template plastic. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, I, that's a great. I've heard great of people idea. using that. Mm -hmm. uh, Remo says liking Kevin. Well, thank you. I think I got one more book available too. If anybody wants a book, one book available of quilt recipes. Please contact T at T Quilts at T Quilts dot com. Thank T -quilts. you. T Quilts com. Um, <laughs> Patsy Johnson, love the contrast cap. Oh, thank you. I, I am too. So on my other blocks, the center rectangle will be light, and then I'll proceed with dark out around. So they'll be opposites. Um, Melissa LePage. Wait, what? I missed my notification. Oh, well, you can watch the replay, Melissa. Oh, my. I, I only sang one song. Um, and I forgot, so sad. My volume is also full up and you two are too far away from the mic. Well. We don't it, have any mics. I tried no mics to, I bought today. mics and there was no receiver. So I got to figure that out when I get home, see if it dropped out. Maddie Barnes says, beautiful, thank you. Cause she's talking to me. Um. <laughs> she might be, cause I showed your blog. I'm joking. Um, and then Remo, no still enjoying, Tananya, no still here, Vivian Calvi, I'm still here enjoying myself, so Facebook, yes or no, is what Remo's saying to you. I, I said I'll make a page, they can share their blog She will be there. making a page, Remo. I'll make a page. Hi, baby. I wasn't girl. planning on, I was not planning on. Yeah, if just you. A, it's just a free saw. Right. Um, but I'll, I'll do that. Or they can post them in T-Quilts. Just post them in T-Quilts group. That's fine. Correct? Absolutely. It's not that many people doing it. 
No, I don't think we need a group. I mean, that's a lot Post for Miss T. Post some your Yeah, that's a lot for Miss T to do, and then she has to monitor the group and all that kind of stuff. Just do them in T. Quill. I wonder if I can make a... I make folders, and they don't put them in a folder, so it'd be so easy if I just made a folder and they yeah. put them in the folder. It's very easy to do as a folder. My last one. Okay. No, no, I'm saying okay. I, I know, but. Okay. <laughs> what is your problem? It's like you're cooking. <laughs> Picking that thing up off the thing. I can see you. You're a failure to communicate. Oh, we always have. Ever since day one. Failure to communicate. part for me is picking what's picking. going in the A block. Yeah. <laughs> I probably can't get any of these uh, arrows in here because it's just that part of the strip. Maybe this one on the end might work. I can get some of this arrow. Woo -wee, look at that. <laughs> 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 Woo, woo, woo. I'm going to get me this arrow in the center. Fussy cut. I'm trying to cut from my scraps I got here first, if I can. Some of them, it's like I don't want to use them. You know, picky. And then I go pick up a big piece of a whole new fat quarter and I don't want to cut it. <laughs> Can't win for losing. <laughs> Well, that happens. Got a little arrow, little road arrow, kind of like Shoot. it's <laughs> pretty pretty. So, I do like fussy cutting my centers. I like the center to be something and not just a random cut for my particular fabrics. Kevin's, it, it matters every here and there on his stripes and flags. If I want them to go the same way. Some of them I don't want to, because I want it to look busy. No, I'm talking about like your center. Some of your centers look like you fussy cut like a particular white line down the oh, middle, because yeah, yeah. it was a dominant line in the plaid. I've noticed that. Mm -hmm. I see you, boo. You watch it. Got, you got some good vision there. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's 30 or done. On to 30 light centers. Oh, I thought you was going to go do that whole block and then come back. Okay. Go and do what whole block? I thought you were going to do that whole oh, block. And no, then... I think I'm going to keep them in 30, groups of 30. Okay. Like, you know, do this and get this done and then do 30 you know home turn. okay so i just got to do some cutting to get caught up well, with the cutting so like i got one two three four that's five so technically i only got eight okay. so yeah because i do like that idea it just you're only working with the same template right until, and then you're done right I just wanted to get these small things out I wanted of the way. to, I wanted to show the difference in paper. Oh sure, foundation yeah. piecing and then templates. Absolutely. So that's why I did those like that too. But he told me last night. I said that's a great idea. <laughs> this I can cut a lot of orange stripe off of. What time is it? Eight minutes. <laughs> You got seven minutes right now. Just change. Oh my goodness. I'm not trying to run away from y'all. Okay. So I just cut this piece for that uh, arrow. So I've used it. 
Crease 03, what type of rotary cutting mat is that? Mine is a one piece. You need a one piece. Because <laughs> I'm about to go crazy glue this stuff together. This is off the wall. And it's three pieces. I can't remember. She had a I reason why. You, she didn't connect this, and it made sense at the time. And maybe I need to go watch the video. But before I watch the video, I'm gonna glue this down. Before you watch the video, yes. Because <laughs> uh, every time I pick it up, I got three pieces. Yeah. That don't make any sense. I'm gonna glue yeah. all three of these pieces because you don't need. If you got like small blocks, you don't need the this part. But if you're got anything that's going to be bigger than your base. Then you need this for the weight to cut. Yeah. Now I ain't got time to be pulling this thing out and putting it back in. Just we just gonna leave it in. I don't know why we need a I seven can't, inch. I can't remember. And you can use the other side of the mat. I might want to do that too because I ain't gonna be using the lines. I might just do like that. Hide all the names. Be like, what is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> See, you can cut on this side. <laughs> it's a double-sided mat. So I might just do that. Glue and get rid of it all because I'm not going to use them lines. I don't use mat lines. I use my rulers when I'm spraying up. Yeah. So I'm going to glue this. It's going to look like that. <laughs> and she loves pink anyway, so there you go. Mm -hmm. It's going to look just like that one piece when I get through. See, I haven't really, I used it, but very little. Now that I'm cutting and using it a lot, it's irritating to have three pieces. I mean, you know, just mm -hmm. to, I guess I should stop talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I tell y'all the truth. That's all I can say. Yes, she does. That's all I can say. She speaks the truth until it comes to talking bad about me. Remo says no make a lie. folder. Okay, I'll make a folder so that everybody can post in it. Creasy, I want mine. Creasy, I want mine to be one piece. Uh, Celeste, uh, Joan Crutchko says I catch replay on television. All right, so first order of business. <laughs> I don't know if I got any crazy glue at home. I'm trying to think. You can use your Brooklyn revolver at home, though, can't you? Yeah, or but, I, but when I have a small space, I like oh. the small. The smaller, the better. And then I'll get my Brooklyn revolver out. And then it gets, you know, start going all off center. When I glue this little joker down, boy. <laughs> Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> I'm just telling the truth. All right. So I'm going to stop here. I got four ABC pieces and then just one A. I didn't find a piece to go around that one yet. But I'll, maybe that's what I'll do tonight is I'll cut. Because otherwise, t quilts is going to be canceled. <laughs> <laughs> really feel, Miss T. What is your true feelings on the matter? Ooh, really. I'll just cancel. <laughs> ah. That's a pretty one to that cut. Is. I was thinking about using the light side, but it's going to go into the dark. Because, you know, we cut in small pieces right at this point. Mm -hmm. Very small. <sighs> That's the issue with, you know, I can't just cut fabric. I need to know that it's going with something. That's the only thing for Definitely. me. Definitely. And that's what's much easier about mine. I'll just say that right off because, number one, for the most part, I can use both sides of my fabric. You mm -hmm. know, and so I'll you don't have to worry, have to worry about, about reversing. Reversing. Because there is reverse. And then also, I'm just cutting for lights and darks. That's, that's it. So. I'm going to put this up. That's why mine were cut much more quickly. So it's going to take me a, a lot of minutes. But it's going to be well worth it. I mean, look mm -hmm. at hers already. I love the fabric. Yeah. And I, like I said, I got a plan. Uh -huh. And by the way, I am not using that in my quilt. That was just a test lot. Mine. 
It'll be coming to me. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait. You can have it now. I don't care. <laughs> like you can have, You need to have it to show. I do. And so you might ask we working. Well, you got to put something up on the wall. I do. Well, yeah. We're, I mean, we're well, the TV and Kevin show. Like, y'all ain't got nothing to show. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. <laughs> I got one block. <laughs> Uh, and I am just letting you know right now, I am only working on this when we work together. I mean, oh, besides other the cutting. Than, other than cutting. Besides mm -hmm. the cutting. Okay. So I'll cut. I'll be cutting tonight and get some cutting done. And I just want to. Because she knows that sometimes I, I get on a horse and I gallop away. Yeah, he, Kevin's a fast piecer. Let me see if I can get if I can get some stuff cut like you got cut. I wasn't cutting for that. I was cutting for teaching purposes, not mm -hmm. working purposes. Because right. I knew they would have questions, especially if they're at home yeah. making them, them themselves. Yeah. So let me get some stuff cut. I'll keep trying to cut. You're just keep cutting, and then I'm I'll going keep to cutting. Cut, I'm going to cut the see. light centers dark next. But, okay. And then I'll, that's what I'll work on the next time. And so can you use your fabrics again now? Your light. I'm going to try not to. You got that many? Oh, my God. I well, do you not see that? Bucket. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah. <laughs> hey. Y'all finna go on a field trip. Ah. I let them see this bucket. Ah. Well, now, don't show too much mess over there. You always say mess. There's a mess. You ain't over got there. nothing compared to my background. Oh, you whatever. There's a mess over there. Y'all finna go on a field trip. Show y'all this oh bucket my. of shirtings that Kevin's got. Oh, my gosh. They ain't interested in my bucket of shirtings. Yes, they are. Aren't you? When she laughs like that. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Look at God. <laughs> I guess he won't have to use anything twice. <laughs> this is the stuff he has not used yet. Nope. I can't believe this. And that's, on the ironing board is what you use. That stack is what I use. Hold on, right here. That stack is what He's I use. He's used this stuff here. Now, some of that in the center I have and have not. That's not shirtings no, back there. No, that's another project. Like right here, this is not shirtings. That's another project. This, this stuff over here. And then, <laughs> this is where he was cutting the last light. So, these lights. O M to the G. Okay. Oh my we're goodness. Blessed. We're blessed, aren't we? I yeah. guess you are. <laughs> and I have to say thanks to my friend Sherry who gave me a lot of those shirtings. I'm trying to turn it back and then it turned and came back. <laughs> see, somebody says. We love to see other people's stuff. Wow, what a collection. See? <laughs> look at this. Wait a minute. I got to turn like this. Hey, look at the feet. Look at the tea quilters. See the tea quilters? Look at that. Hey, little snore. Look at that. This is my little baby. My little baby. Oh, huh? Lily May. Little Lily May. Hey, Lily. I'm going to turn it back. Hey, Lily. Say hi to Auntie. Hi, Lily girl. She says, did you say you had a snack? Hi, Lily girl. She said you have hi. a snack from me. <laughs> she, that's all she care about. She's a good girl. She loves everybody with the with the treat. She loves everybody, don't you? Yes, you do. All right, y'all. Let's say bye to the people. Can you wave at them? Can you wave at them? Can you wave at them? Lily May saying bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Till next time. Yeah, America. it's 303. You, we're on overtime. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Thank you all for coming back. We had, I know at one point we had at least 60 people in here at one point. So thank you all so much yes. for coming back. We do know that the middle of the day on Saturday people are getting errands done. And uh, know that more people will be watching it as it uploads. Because I went back and checked the past videos. And they, you all are watching. And even when I realized that, I was like, we just needed a break anyway. We did. We've been doing so many sew-alongs. Not and to mention my back injury. 
and it so. gets you where you can do your own projects yeah so that you're not working on something because the group is doing it we were working on boho heart too and i was yes. like we could just take a break <laughs> yes um this so. is fun though and i i enjoy my time with et i appreciate our friendship and our camaraderie and art mm -hmm. me too and how much you abuse me, I just go ahead and take it on the chin. Because I, you know, I love you and you just whatever to me. I love you, <laughs> you love me. We're a happy sewing family. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna get over here. I got a lot of stuff to pack up. Yes. Um, it's and a little bit different this time. And uh, hopefully I can get home and get a nap so I can be refreshed by the time it's time for 8 p.m. sewing chat if I wake up. <laughs> ah, don't be texting her or calling her. She's <laughs> she getting a little nap in. So I will see you all later. You all stay blessed, be safe, and quilt out. Good day, mates. <laughs> <laughs>